need a few creative ideas? We'll show you how to make cool decorating items out of available materials. Today, we'll show you several colorful nursery wall decor ideas. We'll need printed out black and white 4 inch square animal pictures, square wooden blanks of the same size, gouache and acrylic paints. We have sanded all sides of the wooden samples. Now they are even and smooth. Let's paint them. Squeeze a bit of white acrylic paint onto the paper that we'll use as a palette. Add some crimson. Use a dry brush to paint in a horizontal direction. If you don't mix well, you'll get such an intricate striped pattern. And continue. Cover the sides. It's very convenient to use a wide soft brush as it covers big areas and creates wide strokes. You may dip the brush into water just a bit. Add more paint. Let's add some accents. Use white paint and a dry brush. Add finishing touches and let dry for about 20 to 30 minutes. For the next sample, take white paint and yellow. Rinse the brush. Mix the paints well. Cover the craft. If you can still see the wooden pattern after the first coat, apply the second one all over. To decorate the third wooden square, take lime green paint and dark turquoise. You may not rinse the brush. Paint the dark cool colors first. Then add the light ones to the opposite side. Start with warm yellow. Now join them gradually. Add lime green to get this bright color. Let the crafts dry. Take the pictures. Cut out the animal outlines. Done! Okay, the wooden squares are dry. Let's embellish them. Squeeze some white glue onto the paper. Cover the back side of a cutout. Attach the image to the sample, smoothing from the center to the edges. Try to avoid wrinkling the paper. Continue with a bird image. Adhere. If some areas don't stick, add some glue with a brush and press over. Repeat for a zebra. Now, let's cover the crafts with a finishing coat. Use acrylic lacquer. Move the brush from the center towards the edges. Cover the picture first, then the wood. Be careful with the picture edges. Keep in mind the sides. Cover the other wooden squares in the same way. Cool! The fabulous decorative squares are ready in 30 minutes when the lacquer is dry. You can attach loops to hang these wooden crafts onto the wall or add them to the shelf to add a splash of bright colors to the nursery interior design. Our today's tutorial is about how to craft a handmade eggshell mosaic plate to decorate the wall. We'll need eggshells, a replacement knob handle pot lid, and brown and purple egg paint. Lay a protecting cover. Make a paper mache plate. We need newspaper for that. Remove the knob to use the lid as the base. Pour a bit of water into the bowl. The first paper coat is always applied without glue to let the paper mache be removed easily from the base. 
Place the lid onto a glass to make the job easier. Soak the paper in the water for several minutes. Take a piece. Remove the excess water. Attach to the lid, starting with the edge. Be careful to wrap the lid edge with a paper coat covering about an inch or so off of the back. Let the first layer dry. Add white glue to the water in a 3 to 1 proportion. Mix well. Apply the second coat in the same way. You should add 6 to 10 more layers. When the paper is dry, remove the paper mache from the lid. Unfold the edges from the back. Cut it out carefully. Ground coat the plate with a mixture of white water-based paint, white glue, and water in equal proportion. When it's dry, cover the plate with black ink. This background will be perfectly fit for a bright mosaic. Add some gloss by covering the surface with tinted acrylic lacquer. Prepare the egg paint first. Follow the instructions on the package. Crack the eggshells and put them into the paint. Let them dry well. Sketch a mosaic outline on the plate. We'll make a colored spiral. Add glue to a small area. Place one color of eggshells without overlapping. Be careful to place the eggshells inside the plate's edge. When the first spiral fragment is finished, make the next one of another color. Cover the plate with two coats of acrylic finishing. You need to attach a ring to hang the plate on a wall. Use a hot glue gun. The eggshell mosaic plate will be a fabulous wall decor element in your kitchen or sitting room. Let's make a 3D pattern wall decor to add a splash of color to your room. Place a blank frame on thick color paper and trace. Today, we'll use bright colors. We've chosen light green for the base. Draw another line as a frame width beyond the initial traced one. Cut off the corners. Score the lines. Fold up. Place the frame inside. Hot glue the paper. Take paper of a different color and draw two inch side squares. Cut them out. Prepare several squares of various colors. Fold diagonals to form a cross. Make a cut up to the center. Attach the sides to shape a pyramid. Place the details on the frame. Form any pattern you like. We'll make an abstract one. Attach the pyramids with multi-purpose glue. The colorful paper wall decor will become a cute interior accent. Let's create beautiful wall art as cut out decorative paper panels to embellish your home. Make a template to start with. It's convenient if the element is used repeatedly. We've chosen a geometric pattern. Use a ruler and a pencil. The symmetrical ornament looks good, but you can think up another one. 
Shade the details you are going to cut out. Use a craft knife to carefully cut out the shaded elements. Make the base. Place a frame on thick paper. Trace the frame to see the borders. Place the template on the paper to trace each detail. Repeat the template to cover the paper inside the borders. Now cut out the pattern following the template elements. When the pattern is ready, score the lines of the outer frame borders. Use an empty ballpoint pen as a scoring tool. Fold up the paper. Cut off the corners. Fold up the paper again to wrap the frame. When the frame is in, hot glue the paper. The final step is painting. Use a toothbrush to splatter the acrylic paint mixed with water. You can create a smooth color transition. Start making the second panel again by tracing the frame. Let's make a net pattern this time. This is it! The most complicated step is over. Hot glue the paper to the frame. Paint the second panel using a sponge. Start making the third panel in the same way except the ornament. You can do it without a template this time. Use a ruler and a pencil. Mark off equal intervals across the borders. Join the marks to get strips. Draw a herringbone pattern. Cover the whole paper. Cut out the details following a checker design. Be careful to leave some space between the cutouts to avoid tearing the pattern. Splatter the paint over the third pattern. You can hang all three abstract panels on an accent wall to make it even more prominent or distribute over the house to unite the interior space. Our tutorial is about how to make a decoupage wall clock from a vinyl record. Begin by working with the vinyl. You can buy it at a flea market or in a special shop. Add some water to the central paper circle and remove it. Take a fine sandpaper to smooth the surface to get an even paint coat. Cover with a ground coat. When the first layer is dry, add another one to cover the black vinyl. Let it dry. Start the decoupage. Choose a napkin with a picture of a nice house. Cut out the image. Remove the excess layers, leaving the top one with the picture. Cover the surface with white glue. Attach the napkin moving from the center to the edges. Coat with glue using a soft brush. Let it dry. Cut off the excess, adding half an inch extra napkin around the edges. Glue the edges onto the back. Make the background correspond with the picture's colors. Use gouache. Paint the sky in dots. The gouache becomes lighter when it dries. Don't be afraid, it will return to the original color. Cover the picture surface with transparent lacquer. Add several coats until the napkin's edges become nearly even with the vinyl surface. Smooth the clock using fine sandpaper. Cover with the finishing lacquer coat. Let it dry. Add the numbers. Use a compass. Divide the circle into four equal parts. Use a ruler. The number 12 should be placed on top over the house. Make Roman numerals from a thin black ribbon. Cut a piece equal to the number's height. Fray check the edges and attach with white glue. Make other number elements in the same way. Now we need a clockwork with hands. You can remove it from an old clock. 
Carefully put it into the central hole on the back. Make the hole bigger using a knife if needed. Attach the clockwork with a screw nut on the front side. Put on the hands. Attach a metal ring on a piece of ribbon on the back behind the number 12. Use a hot glue gun. The festive vinyl record wall clock is ready. This exclusive accessory will become a wonderful interior decoration. Leave your comments, subscribe to our channel and see new stylish interior design element making tutorials.